continuing to field questions for you, Samili. I was soon asking from within our Telegram group about uh, should he or she do a second QBank in addition to UWorld for US Simile? Do I have any input as far as AMBOSS, US Simile RX? Okay, just UWorld in general, this notion of doing two QBanks. I'll give you very fucking clean and consolidated advice here, and I'll waste our fucking time. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. And me HLMAN underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. So students ask about doing a second QBank for US Simile in addition to UWorld. Uh, and do I have any comment on that? Which is, as I've made numerous fucking clips on, okay, uh, I recommend US Simile RX over AMBOSS. People are going to have different opinions. That's okay. All right. Some people will like Ambos. That's fine. US Simile RX, I see as more simplified and consolidated. I'm not interested in seeing a superfluous library uh, in Ambos when I have students going through the QBank. Okay. There's too much information. It looks nice. Uh, but the goal, we have to ask ourselves what the goal is. Is the goal to just feel good because we're learning info? Or is the goal to get your fucking score up to pass U.S. Simile and do well in the U.S. Simile 2CK numerically, of course, in the least amount of time? And there's just way too much fucking information in the AMBOSS library, in my view, okay? U.S. Simile RX is more consolidated. It's not as fancy. If there is a complaint, quote-unquote, that students might have if they're doing U.S. Simile RX, it's that the explanations aren't long enough or the questions are too simple compared to UWorld, which is actually a good thing when we want to cut to the fucking chase and just review some basics and whip you through additional questions at times. It's a long fucking discussion as far as when I might have a student do a second QBank. Generally, US, US Simile World, U World is sufficient for both steps one and two, okay? As well as all the NBME content, I've made lots of videos on how to prep for step one and step two. It's very rare that I have a student go through a second QBank. It pretty much is always in the scenario of a student comes to me for the first time over the Skype or Zoom, and he or she's already failed the CBSE comp, already failed the USMLA step one or two, has already gone through UWorld, let's say, and we're, look, we're searching for more questions. The student has to get the basics up, foundation up a bit more before really delving into the NBME exams, as I've talked about. So... I don't recommend going through a second QBank uh, if you're just going through your prep without a fail at the moment. It's a long discussion, as I said. It's never cookie cutter for every student. I only recommend doing a second QBank if you've literally exhausted UWorld, you've gone through the UWorld incorrects, you've gone through all the NB material, you've sat the CBSC comp or step at this point and you failed. That's pretty much when I'd recommend a second QBank. Otherwise, you don't need to do that in 2022. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.